Hi, Kate here with Quick Quotes. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made a great back to school layout with the Pattern Perfect back to school line from Quick Quotes. This line is so awesome because it has the pattern paper and the matching die cuts. It also has some stickers that go with it that are really fantastic. These are the die cuts and as you can see I've already used a few of them. I love them so much. They have some great themed school spirit, favorite subjects, and then we have some pattern paper. And these are the pattern papers that I used in my layout today. What is so fantastic about this line is that they have some great patterns that um, are perfect for fussy cutting and making designs and building up your layout without having to pull in more of um, more layers. You can fussy cut these things out. So um, today I fussy cut out this banner to use in my layout. I used this piece of paper in the Pattern Perfect line to, for my background. I used this fantastic piece of lined paper for my um, ruled paper in the background. I'll show you a fun, how I built upon that. And this great piece of paper here with the apples in the books. I actually cut out the apple in the books and I'm going to build upon that in my layout and you'll see how now. So I'm going to pull my layout out. And I'm starting with my background paper. This background paper is one of my favorite papers in this line. I've shared this before in another video, how much I love this teal alphabet background paper. So this is going to be my pattern paper. This is going to be my background paper. And I'm starting with the ruled paper. So I've already cut this down to an eight and a half by ten and a half. And I made it like it was a piece of paper pulled out from a notebook. And I just punched the sides out right here and I'm just going to do this a little bit. And I've already added my fun picture of my daughter and her girlfriend from the back to school day for the beginning of their freshman year. And the words freshman, because I'm going to actually build my layout around to show you how easy it is to add all those fussy cut pieces of quick quotes back to school paper on here. So let's start. And we're just going to flip this over and I'm using a Xyron Mega Runner. And I want to just make sure I have this all done nice and easy. And I'm putting this in a spot where you can see that the background paper actually is an alphabet. You can see the letters showing the N's and the F's. That was important to me. So I'm just starting making sure this is straight here. And now I'm going to build up the paper pieces that I used. So I cut out this piece of paper and I'm going to use the Powder Puff Talking Ink and Midnight Confessions. And I'm just going to use it around the edges of this cut out book stack because I just I want it to stand out a little bit. And I did do this already on the other books that I'll be using in this layout. And I want to cap this up. Now all I did was swipe that nice and easy. I didn't want to make that very, um, I didn't want to make broad, really noticeable strokes. So I just swiped it. Now I'm building the pieces of paper that I fussy cut out of the pattern perfect back to school line. So my books are going there. And out of the big piece of paper that I showed you, this piece of paper, you can see I that's where the book stack, and this is the green and the brown, and those I chose not to use the red. I didn't want to use too much red. And I just fussy cut those out. And I'm going to place those on my layout or framing around my picture. Make sure these are straight. I'm going to add this one also. I keep getting my tape runner caught on my glue dots on my banner. Now I wanted this to be the same height as my photo. Now it's not going to matter because I'm going to cover that up with the apple. This is the apple that I cut out of the paper and I actually already added the numbers to it so it would be nice and quick to show you. Let's see, I'm going to cover that right up. Now I'm adding two of the Pattern Perfect Back to School pieces of chipboard to the bottom of my layout to make that little cluster on the bottom. So it's just nice and easy. You peel that back. I'm going to put one right here 
And for the second one, I wanted it to pop up, so I put some zap dots on the back of it. And I'm just going to overlap these. I need to pull those off the back of that too. And overlap that. There, now I've got it. Now, I have another piece of chipboard. I wanted to even this out so it was level up top. So I found this perfect piece of the chipboard die cuts in this line. It just has a few of the alphabets on it and this will help square up my book stack with my layout. And for a finishing touch, I'm adding the cut border. I showed you that in the first piece of paper. How we had this fun paper here. You can cut everything out or use it as whole, but I chose to cut that banner out. And I'm just going to slice that, put that banner right here. Now I fussy cut that out with my scissors and then I put some 3D zap dots on the back of it to give it a little bit of height. I'm just going to curl those up a little bit, give it a little bit of dimension. Just such a fun, easy way to throw a layout together using the Quick Quotes Pattern Perfect Back to School line. I think I want to move this up a little bit more. Um, just how fun and easy those um, patterns are to create dimension and build a scene. Flip that up a little bit more. I like those curled banners. And there we go. A quick and easy way to build a layout with Quick Quotes Pattern Perfect Back to School line using just some scissors and glue and a little bit of ink. I hope you enjoyed my video today and I, and I gave you a good idea for your back to school pictures. Thank you for joining me. Have a good day.